There's a fly in the kitchen and it's excessively loud. Don't know if you guys can hear it. Like, do you mind? God's sake. I'm trying to get shit done. Oh my God, this fly is actually huge. Nah, no thanks. Please go back to wherever you came from. Leah, what's this? No, don't get on the, don't, no. Don't get on there. Then I'll be a good boy. Okay, I love you. I love you, Dad. You're a good boy, but please don't jump on there because I'm trying to set up things. Okay. Now get, get down. <laughs> get down. Right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are we? Today, we will be on the Australia part three chats. And I thought I would just say, I know this is not really... Um, smart YouTube attire but I haven't been feeling my best and I just thought I'd come on and say that <laughs> because obviously it's the stussy hoodie and it's just a hoodie um, but yeah sometimes you just have to film when you don't feel your best and you don't feel on top of the world oh and I did actually try well not try I started the vlog and then I yeah it died because I forgot to charge my camera I need to actually get another battery because it's not it's not beneficial really to the whole situation just having one one battery holy moly that is so that holy shit I can't even see yes so this will be a carry on from me failing at the start <laughs> but yeah welcome to the vlog I've charged my battery though I've got to get used to these YouTube things you know being a YouTuber and filming and editing I just need to get used to all the bits and pieces that go involved with that so yeah gonna have to give me a bit of time to get used to it and adjust. Leo are you in the garden? Are you in the garden? You having a good Saturday? You having a good day? Hey? Oh you look so cozy. You didn't know are you eating the glass? Ah 22 degrees. Bloody glorious. Absolutely glorious. Here we go. Hello guys! See my face now? Welcome to a new vlog. It's Australia part 3 chats today. Um, <laughs> it's got a buggy my nose, it's great. Playing cricket at the cricket club, so that's also great. Um, yeah, how are we all doing? Are we all having a fabulous day? Yeah, so Australia part chats part 3 and I'll also be chatting a little bit about um, coming back to the UK and how I'm feeling at the moment because I do feel a bit kind of all over the show um, like in a good way like obviously I'm busy and lots going on but at the same time it's I don't know like I'm living here now not Australia and I think it's just adapting to, to that which is great um, but yeah it's just feeling a bit a bit strange still I think is the word all right update the fly's gone um, so yeah, I got up to the bit where I said I was in Mackay and I was working there. Um, and I just want to say, obviously everyone exp everyone's experience is different. So obviously because I was with an Australian at the time, um, we might have done things differently to how backpackers, you know, travelling together as groups might have done them. But yeah, I'm very grateful to his family for obviously letting us stay and you know being around them and getting to know them it was a very interesting time so yeah so after Mackay we moved down to Gold Coast together um, in a place called Narang so we did actually stay in like a caravan park again but it was more of like a cabin where we were than a caravan and yeah like so my great auntie she lives in well just outside Brisbane sort of thing uh, about 45 minute drive from Brisbane and she knew this couple that owned the caravan park so we stayed there and yeah we managed to like get a, like a nice cabin like looking over the river which was lovely it was a lot nicer the one than one, the one we stayed at in Gatton because Gatton the first time we obviously just had a little caravan and it wasn't big enough for all our stuff etc it was so hot yeah, this place we stayed at was lovely and yeah, you know what, it wasn't an apartment but the thing is like I was working part-time hours 
in like the place I was at, Autobahn in Gold Coast, and he was obviously working full time, but like put them together and you can't really pay for an apartment every week, realistically. And we wanted to save and, you know, had like different goals, so yeah, and you know what, it worked out, like it wasn't, it wasn't horrible, it wasn't, it wasn't like the best of the rest, but when you've got things in mind and you have certain goals, there are things that you have to sacrifice in order to get there. So, life tip of the day. It was a bit of a stressful time, to be honest, like, I don't know, like we obviously just moved away from his family and, you know, it was just us two. It wasn't like we were in the caravan part or before, you know, so, yeah, it was a different environment, but I think we both like grew as people. You know, there were hard times, but it's hard times with everything that you do. So the next step, the next step of the journey, I went to Gatton again. Um, but before I did that, we actually went to, where did we go now? To Stanthorpe. So we tried Stanthorpe and where it was, there was quite a lot of older people there who were retired, which is fine. Um, but we weren't looking for that vibe, we were looking for more of like young people, people to meet, people to socialise with, etc. And the cabin when we went it was just like, she explained it to be quite big and lots of space. We went there and it was literally tiny. So we were like, nope, cannot do this. So we literally sat down on the bed and we both looked at each other and we were like, no, it's not gonna work. We also tried a place, also tried a place called Toowoomba which is like half an hour from Gatton, um, just to see if we could like find somewhere sort of close there. Cause it is quite nice, Toowoomba. It's like on a hill and it looks like it has really nice views. And it's a bit cooler. Um, and because it was summer again, it was just like super hot. It's just crazy. You got to take Flanny off cause it's too hot. <laughs> Can't even take it off. Ah yes, and before we went to Gatton, we actually went to a place called Grantham Lodge. This, a fly. I'm gonna, oh my God, I thought I killed it. Oh my God, go away. Yes, so we went to a place called Grantham Lodge, which was near Gra Gatton as well, before we ended up going back to Gatton, <laughs> which we both said we weren't gonna do, but it happened. Went to Grantham Lodge and so, before, like the year before, we were doing farm up before that. Um, Grantham Lodge was like really fun, lots of like parties happening, like loads of people around, etc. And obviously, COVID hit, they changed managers, and we got there, and it was just it was not a good vibe at all. There was hardly anyone there. It might have changed by now, bear in mind, like, I, you know, this, this was just our experience. Yeah, the manager wasn't great, there was loads of rules. The kitchen was only open at certain times, no drinking at all no parties at all oh and if you if they found that you were eating in your cabin you would get fined <laughs> so you couldn't like have any snacks in there so she let's go back to the caravan park in gatton um met some more fabulous people we actually because 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 it was quieter we actually got there and there weren't many people there there were aussies there which they weren't there before so it was sort of more mixed sort of environment which is good we got this cabin that was like better than the caravan we had the year before. Yeah, it was good. And then we had a TV, so we set that up and it was just, it just felt like really nice and cozy compared to like really hot in the caravan we were in before that. And with work, so I did one day of, I think if, I just think I did a few days of beetroot. I think like sorting beetroot, it was so fun. Great. Yeah, same, same sort of clothes as I said in the last video. And because there weren't, anyone around there wasn't anyone around that was there the year before it was like you know we had to make new friends again and and it was just like a new chapter starting over sort of thing and i started in the legendary cold room which is basically where um so there was a like ready meal sort of company and we washed and cut vegetables which was fun so yeah, so when you start there, you basically just start off washing and then when she sees that you're doing better, like the, the supervisor, she moved us to um, like packing and everything and then moved on to cutting, cutting, what were we cutting? And then it was just like so much work as well. 
like it was just crazy. We had to work at a certain pace. Things had to be done by a certain time. It was just like super manic. Yeah, we did celery, broccoli, uh, what else do we do? Parsley, like loads of stuff. Fennel, like loads of veg. Uh, and our favorite was cauliflower. And whoever's watching this who was in the cold room, you know exactly what I mean when I say cauliflower. Yeah, because you bring, they bring the cauliflower out, you'd have to like chop off all the, obviously the big leaves, and then you'd have to cut it in a certain way so it was easier to like get all the leaves out underneath, like flick them out. <laughs> it's so weird like talking about this. And like knowing how many cauliflowers you must have cut was just insane. Yeah, and then the washers would wash them. And sorry, the person next to you, next to the cutter, would like get all the rest of the leaves out and like clean it up and like scratch. Oh, I'm so tired today. Scratch all like the other bits, like the brown bits and whatever. And then obviously it wasn't good enough, it get put in the poo pile. Not the poo pile, but like, I forgot it's cold now. Different bin. <laughs> yeah, so you'd have to wear uh, white, white apron, gloves, hair net. Everything to like obviously be safe with food. Yeah, so it was a fast pace, fast paced environment. Um, I actually met like so I met Lindsay um, doing the other job, and then she was like mainly working outside. I'm pretty sure. And then I also met Charlotte in the cold room, and then I met like a few girls as well, um, who were all super lovely, like just insane, insane people. I'll probably put some pictures up on the screen. And when you're doing farm work, it's not the most glamorous job. It's not the best job. It's not like you don't want to be doing it, okay? But obviously we all had a mission to get our days done. So you have to do six months for your three year visa, third year visa. And I actually said to myself when I was doing the three months, I was like, nope, there's no way I'm going, going to do the six months. Not a chance. Because everyone was like, would you do the six months for the third year? And I was like, nah. Could not see myself doing this for six months. What did I do? Did it for like nine months. Not in the cold room, not all in the cold room, but a lot of it was in the cold room. And I also think because there was more like diverse people at the Caravan Park, um, it was a bit nice to have like a mixture of people, you know, diversity and everything, not just backpackers. So we did like cute little games and like festival. We had like a, what was it? G in the park we did for Gatton. 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 And it was like fun and everyone was involved. It was just such a vibe. Such a vibe. Like looking back at it and you think, you never think where you are at the minute. You're thinking, oh, I wish I could go back and do that again. But then, then you go see your future, which is your present. And then you're like, God, I miss that. But you don't think about it at the time, do you? Like, you're obviously making the best of it, but you're not thinking to yourself, oh God, I'll definitely miss this. Like it's just living in the moment, but it's just such a scary, weird thing as well. So unfortunately me and my ex did split up, um, obviously because he's called my ex. We did split up and we did go our separate ways um, for certain reasons, which obviously I'm not gonna share on the internet. <laughs> and you just gotta think it is what it is and yeah, we stay friends, um, but yeah, just didn't work out. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Just gotta wish him the best, haven't you? And move on. So there is gonna be a part four as well. Might even be a part five, because I feel like sometimes you have to actually elaborate on what you're talking about, otherwise it doesn't really make much sense. So yeah. So keep, keep in touch with that. Um, I just wanted to sort of glaze briefly over weird things about being back in the UK. Adjusting still feels so strange to me, you know, like obviously when you go away for ages and you experience something different, when you actually come back to your home, it's always a bit like weird, strange. Just doesn't feel, I just feel like a fish out of water to be honest, like I just feel a bit weird. And I have like this like feeling of like wanting to be back in Australia and just a mix of emotions to be honest, like it can be a bit overwhelming when you think about it too much. So this is going to sound bizarre, but hearing English accents everywhere and different kinds of English accents. Like obviously you'd have um, English, uh, English accents in Australia, 
but not like everywhere to the point where you're like, it's just everywhere. And the amount of people is insane. Traffic's like double, I feel, and there's just people everywhere. Like, Australia's vast, obviously. It's a vast country. It's so much bigger than the UK. And there's so much less people for the area. Um, so yeah, the amount of people everywhere. Can't go away. There's people everywhere. It's just insane. The amount of tea I drink right now is, yeah, it's not that much. Probably have like a few cups, but in Australia, I didn't really used to drink tea that much. Like maybe if someone offered me tea, or I was at my great auntie's, I'd have a lot of tea because she's um, English. And yeah, but like the amount of teas I have over here is just like crazy. Yeah, I also keep saying dollars instead of pounds, which is confusing everyone. Because I work in a cafe, which I normally do work on Saturdays for. And then after I go to London, because I'm doing that every week for my acting classes, so it's all a bit hectic. Um, but yeah, I keep saying dollars rather than pounds, and it's just a bit like, why are you saying dollars? You weirdo. And my legs are killing from the gym. They're still killing. I went and did legs on, I want to say Thursday, but it's still hurting. It's not relevant, but I feel like I went way too hard this time. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually going to finish up here. So just want to say that I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be posting another Australia Experiences one. I'm also going to do another different vlog as well. Not too sure. I'm just planning it out at the moment. But yeah, I'm looking so pale to what I was in my last vlog. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, yes, so I will be doing more. I'm, I am sort of... I'm going to be better at balancing everything because at the moment I'm just like sort of 100 miles an hour. So I will be doing more vlogs and like putting them out like regularly. But I think because I have a lot on at the moment, it's yeah, it's quite hard to balance sometimes, but I will be doing my best. And you know, my acting isn't for like the whole year. It's only for I think eight more weeks or something. Yeah. So I just want to say um, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you haven't already. Sub subscribe, subscribe button down below and click the bell as if you want to get notifications when I do upload. Yeah, and yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you have the best rest of your day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you soon. Bye!